Hello, this is Greg, N4KGL, amateur radio operator. Uh, I'm at uh, Keystone State Park in Oklahoma, and uh, I've prepared a balloon payload uh, developed by uh, Bill Brown, W-B-A-E-L-K, and uh, we're using party balloon helium uh, in the balloon. Uh, which is not as good as the pure helium, but it's going to work for us today. And this is the uh, payload that Bill developed uh, with the... Uh, uh, it does uh, APERS, uh, Automatic Position Report Reporting System, uh, which can be picked up by... Uh, uh, stations uh, in the United States and actually around the world. Uh, so in theory, uh, this balloon is going to go to uh, uh, above 20,000 feet and float around and if we're in luck it will go uh, many miles toward the Atlantic and who knows what after that. That is if we've done everything correctly. So we followed Bill's uh, instructions and we have excellent uh, uh, weather um, and um, I believe we're within tolerances for doing the launch. So, so we're going to go down to the lake with the wind to our back and do do the launch. Uh, here's our launch point. Uh, the uh, APRS uh, ID for this balloon is N4KGL-11. So you'll be able to track it on um, APRS.FI or any of the other online APERS uh, maps. All right. So, we'll uh, give this a little slack here. Uh, wind is over the lake. And uh, hopefully it doesn't get wet. So here we go. It is doing just this beautiful up, up, and away balloon here. And uh, it's definitely airborne. <clears throat> It'll have to be above those trees. But uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. So we'll just watch it as long as we can here. Uh, it's kind of a... <clears throat> I really doubt with this camera that you can... Uh, see a lot, but uh, I've had this balloon for uh, uh, over two years, and um, <clears throat> uh, we are out in Oklahoma, which turns out to be an excellent spot to launch. So we'll uh, check our radio and look for reports, and uh, <clears throat> Wish it good luck on its journey. Uh, this is uh, N4KGL. Uh, thanks for watching.